Kicks 105.5, that is Brett Young and Catch at 745. And uh, as he joins us every Wednesday, about 10 minutes until 8 o'clock, uh, he's a little early today, but we've got a lot of things to talk about. I got a little list for you today, bro. How are we doing? Oh, my goodness. I'm good. How are you? Doing well. It's Mike Bear from Barrett Insurance Agency. Look, I just gave you three bells to start your Wednesday. See, buddy? Yeah, so many, so many angels just got their wings. It's an awesome day. <laughs> so uh, my first and foremost question is, uh, as you and I have talked, my son turned 18. And is there any way that uh, parents can CYA? You know what that means, right? C- no. CYA, cover your backside. If you have, oh, gotcha. if you have yeah. teenage drivers, is there anything we oh. can do uh, to help ourselves in case a child should happen to crash their vehicle? Uh, well, see, that's, that's tough. That's tough. So if you have a child who's got who's a little accident prone, if they're on your policy, as you well expect, you're going to see some increases in your own cost because those accidents are going to be paid out of your insurance and it's going to be reflected upon you. Now, when that youthful operator goes away, you know, remember accidents and violations your history that stay on your policy. If that young driver uh, gets put somewhere else or leaves the household less than three years, then it's highly probable that some of those surcharges could leave with the child. But then the child seeking their own insurance will have to pay uh, exponentially to cover the, the losses or cover the surcharge for their losses. So it's really a catch-22. You know, we have a lot of parents who, uh, right off the onset, get their kid kind of a uh, make them get their own car and get their own insurance. And that's one way to kind of mitigate your exposure. But remember, if you have a household member who's got a horrible driving record, uh, that could come back against you on your own because a lot of insurance companies use your whole household as a means of, of getting raped. So, well, when the uh, paramedics show up at the scene of the crash i just go ah, he's adopted <laughs> <laughs> um, my car. you you say that uh, getting renter's insurance uh with having a young person is beneficial for them say they move out at 18 19 years old um and and we've discussed that 18 and 19 are worlds apart 18 is one thing 19 becomes much cheaper uh because they believe that you're more responsible after three years of driving if if you uh, if you don't have a car and you just wanted to get renter's insurance for a young person, uh, would you suggest doing that if they move into their I own place with like their girlfriend? Absolutely. Anybody who lives anywhere at any time of their life should have renter's insurance. So uh, I, I would absolutely recommend that for a young person who's moving out for the first time into an apartment. You know, yes, you have very little. Uh, but you have a lot to lose, if that makes sense. Right. So well, let's say somebody gets, you know, you're having a little party at your house and somebody falls and cracks their head open or something. Would that mm-hmm. be covered under renter's insurance or more if somebody it, steals something from your house or both? No, you, you both, both. Uh, so, you know, somebody uh, slips and falls and cracks their head or sustains an injury in your property, just like a regular homeowner policy, a renter's policy will have liability uh, coverage for you and medical payments to others coverage, which is pretty key. Um, but more than anything, uh, the higher probability is that something could happen where maybe things are stolen or a fire occurs or water damage occurs or something happens that destroys your personal property and makes it so that you got to start all over again. Um, you know, remember, you know, if you're going out for the first time, you're bringing borrowed stuff. You know, you've you got your couch from Aunt Clara. you got your bed from Mom and Dad. you got your TV off the side of the road. And, you know, uh, re- these types of policies are replacement cost policies. So they're not going to be replacing with used stuff. They're going to be replacing light kind of quality brand new. So, so you and I have talked about uh, the word is not bundle. What was the word you use? Uh, package, bundle, package. multi, multi uh, policy. Is it? They have a million of them. Okay. So uh, based on that, uh, much like when I go to KFC Taco Bell and I ask for a pot pie, a <laughs> pot pie is like $6 by itself. But if I get it bundled, uh, I get a cookie and a drink for a dollar less. Uh, so exactly. that, that's the same concept with getting renter's insurance. If you do have a vehicle, it actually will most probably drop your car insurance just to skosh. It's almost like you get free renter's insurance. 
It really is in many cases where you either get free renter's insurance or in some cases, if your auto insurance is so high, that credit that gets applied could, could even mean that you're saving a little money having both. So it's not a benefit. And, and, you know, it's interesting. There's two things that insurance companies do that are very similar to your Taco Bell uh, analogy, and that is uh, account credits. If you have more than one account with a company, they're going to give you a, a pretty sizable credit on uh, the auto policy and a pretty decent one of the renters. But they also have the multi-car credit. You know, the second you have another vehicle, uh, you know, you might be paying $900 a year for your car. You add a second vehicle. Yeah, you got that three, six or $700 premium for the other vehicle, but your $900 vehicle becomes $600. How's that happen? Well, I, multi-car discount. So. Something very strange I wanted to ask you. You know, I, I have wing nut questions. Um, <laughs> if, if my neighbor uh, doesn't have uh, renter's insurance and, and I wanted uh-huh. to just buy my neighbor renter's insurance. Can I just randomly purchase renter's insurance for like somebody that lives near me or like my grandmother? If I wanted to pay my grandmother's insurance, could I do that? Yeah. You can. As long as, you have, as, long as your grandmother agrees to the contract and, and signs the ink, uh, because the contract is between the party and the insurance company. So it doesn't matter who's paying it. Um, if, you're, if you want to pay it on behalf of your grandmother, I have a lot of parents who pay for the renter's insurance for their children for the first year or two. Um, so certainly, uh, that's, a, that's a, something that you could absolutely do if you were that kind of person. So if I am a parent and my child moves out and they do not have renter's insurance and they're staying, you know, like at a buddy's house, I could actually say, you know what, I'd like to make sure that you guys are protected and safe. I'm going to get renter's insurance. I would just need to have my over 18-year-old child sign, but I can pay for it. Exactly. Okay. And actually, if you, you know, truth be told, who's the first person they're going back to if they stuff oh. off? <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm just trying to ensure <laughs> that none of my children come back home. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no insurance policy for that. So is uh. it insure or insure? Which one are you doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So uh, keeping business as usual, uh, I'll throw the uh, floor to you. If there's anything you'd like to say uh, about St. Johnsbury businesses or Barrett Insurance at this time. Absolutely. Uh, so given our current climate, of course, COVID-19 uh, is a, a game changer for everybody, and it certainly is for us as well. Now, remember, we have uh, been deemed essential, so we are still operating uh, Monday through Friday regular office hours with our doors locked because we're not able under the governor's orders to transact business face-to-face. So we can transact business every other way. Uh, in fact, you can drop stuff off through our mail slot. You can call us, email us, what have you. Uh, we did training that was put out by the Vermont Department of Labor because as the, the days of, of uh, being by ourselves get numbered, we need to be more up to speed on having uh, awareness of how to properly social distance when we open up again. Uh, so we actually all did some training. with a, It's very simple. It's just a PowerPoint. So it, you know, it sounds impressive, but it's more just we had to read it <laughs> and put our name on it. Um, so, uh, but you know, we're doing all the steps possible to make it so that when we can open again, uh, that we will, um, and that we want to continue to, to be there to help everybody out. You know, I'm starting to get phone calls with people going, hey, my auto insurance premium was less this month. Well, there you go. The the uh, refund or the rebate program that a lot of the companies put out is starting to uh, hit. So people are paying. You know, they're seeing that sixty or seventy dollar reduction in some cases on the high end. Uh, so it's a good thing. I love how you made the hype on that. You're like, but really, it's just a little PowerPoint thing. It's like no big deal. It's like when my kid <laughs> came home and goes, "Look at my amazing art project." I'm like, that is a shoebox with some cotton swabs and a dinosaur. I don't know what that is, but it's not that. And it's still on your refrigerator and hits you in the head every time you grab the milk. It's the centerpiece of my home. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, if you would like to talk to Mike about uh, renter's insurance, car insurance, uh, putting things together, packaging, uh, your young people, your old people, anything, he's always willing to talk. And of course, uh, most of the time, he finds that you could save money through switching to Barrett Insurance Agency. If you'd like to call and talk to Mike, you can do so by buzzing him up at... 748-5224. Seven four eight five two two four. You can uh, stop by and wave to us through our windows on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. We are online at BarrettAgency.com, Google, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Barrett Insurance Agency. Oh, it, when you hear those obnoxious honks, that's me. Oh, well, yeah. we assume. Yeah, I've been doing that because you're on my way home and to work. Uh, and when somebody moons you out my window, that means my wife's <laughs> driving. So, <laughs> Mike, I hope you have a great Wednesday. I'll talk to you next week. All right, be well, or be better, or do something, I don't know. (laughs) Bye.